Doris. I'm seeing Josh to see if uh, I'm sure it's, there's an explanation, but maybe it's quite a nerve sound or something. Things recording. The rousing chimes of white jade purify the ten directions, bringing peace to the rivers and oceans. The high peaks bear the weather, and the myriad spirits bow, requesting the presence of the immortals. Heaven is freed of impure air, earth is freed of all temptations. Obscure wisdom is clearly perceived. So vast and generous is the mystery beyond mystery. Immortal of the great veiled three treasures, may your numinous voice pervade every place, extinguishing wrongs and dissolving transgressions. May your treasured signs pervade every time, coming to the aid of those in need. May this altar be open so the teachings in these verses manifest, and may our efforts be meritorious and in alignment with the teachings that follow. Ascending to the highest altar with the stepping toward emptiness song, we pray that the lands be blessed and avoid even the shortest drought. Today our pure hearts present at the golden watchtower within, amidst the morning's peaceful haze of incense, the jade furnace burns. The central territory is fortified, mountains and rivers are robust, the immortals' splendor is expansive, and the saints and sages are luminous. When we all pay respects to the ancient sages each day, the year's harvest is plentiful and the people enjoy peace and tranquility. Immortal of constant clarity and constant stillness. When the realized mind is clear and still, 
The Tao has fulfilled our ancestral purpose like the culmination of the pearl moon. May the darkness be swept from our minds until no obstacles remain and a full circle of light fills the great void. The highest medicine is within the body. Shen, Qi, Jing. Each of us has the capacity to eliminate deficiency and excess, arriving at harmony. May we come to know the primordial unity by reversing the way to nurture each day the yellow sprout in the golden tripod. Recall any, with any mention of reversal or return, that the Taoist path is often considered as a whole, as the reverse way. Instead of following along and dispersal, we're returning, reversing the natural course of dispersal and death to return to the source, the unity. Before the altar, we are all the same, each of us reverent within and without. To our heartfelt summons, the Tao replies, so we recite these scriptures and follow the teachings. Purifying the mind, incantation. Tai Shang Tai Xing, adapting to change without end, expelling evil and binding demons, protect my destiny and guard my body. May my wisdom be luminous and pure, the spirit of my heart mind at peace, and my three hun everlasting, my po undying. Jiji Wulu Ling, may this order be swiftly carried out, promptly and according to the statutes. Purifying the speech incantation. Don Ju, spirit of the mouth, expel the filth and foul air, so Jung Lun, spirit of the tongue, can infuse my destiny with spiritual nourishment. Luo Qian, spirit of the teeth, reject perversity and protect truth, so Hu Bun, spirit of the throat, can guide down the liquid spiritual qi. Don Yuan, spirit of the heart, enable me to penetrate reality. So Lien Yi, spirit of thought, can constantly abide in the Tao. Jiji Wulu Ling. Purifying the body incantation. Ling Bao Tian Zun, comfort my body, tame my hun and po. And with the five organs, follow Xuan Ming. May the green dragon and white tiger command my bewildered mind. May the vermilion bird, the phoenix, and dark warrior guard my body. Jiji Wulu Ling. Golden Light Incantation. In gold we hear not just a color, but the idea of rarity, purity, refinement, perfection. And guang is light, but it's it's radiance. Heaven and earth are the fundament of the mystery. Precursors of the Tao. 
the root of the 10,000 chi. Extensive cultivation through tumultuous times has confirmed the pervasion of spirit. Throughout the three realms, we understand the Tao is supreme, that is, ultimate reality is the thing. The body has its golden light, reflecting and hiding within. The golden light, the perfected radiance of the Tao, is reflecting and hide, hiding within. We can't at first see it, but like the moon holds the light of the sun, our bodies are bright with golden light. Looking, you cannot see it. Listening, you cannot hear it. Embracing heaven and earth, it nourishes all sentient beings. Chanting this 10,000 times, my entire being is radiant and luminous. The three realms protected. The five gods respected. The 10,000 spirits pay ritual respects, enlisting the support of the thunderbolt. Ghosts are stricken with fear. Demons lose their minds. Inside, a thunderbolt, the thunder god's hidden face. Wisdom penetrates throughout, the five chi flourish. The golden light is revealed, hidden and watching over the realized person. Gigi Wu Ling. You've each heard uh, many versions of this leave it settling into its long-term state. The orientation, which has gone through cycles of being focused on the efficacy of our personal practice, to now what I think is the more accurate emphasis, which is on validation of the pervasion of spirit. Opening the mystery stored in the scriptures incantation. A cloud inscribes the great emptiness, initiating a new cycle of being. Far away one moment, close the next, sinking here, floating there, it flits about in the five directions until, suddenly complete, it lingers. Tian Jun Huang Run presses down the brush to write. He acts as a conduit for the seal, a stage for performing a sacred talisman. Yuan Shu descends, true writing is born as the ink spreads. It is so clear, it is without any obscuration. Illnesses resolve on their own, the weight of the world is lifted, and we are protected by the spirits of the unseen realms. Our ascent to the immortal realm is assured. I'll skip the Ching Jing Jing today, focus on the newer, more newly translated scriptures. The wondrous scripture of avoiding harm and protecting life. We bow and take refuge in the wondrous Tao, our highest mind in humble reverence of the twofold mystery of reality. Turn now to wholeheartedly consider the basis of mind. This scripture guides our coarse understandings accordingly. The emptiness of form, the form of emptiness, and non-existence of existence are Xing, original nature. That spark of pure yang, like golden light covered over and reflecting brilliantly in our 
physical existence. The existence of non-existence, the non-existence of existence, and the form of emptiness are harmonious. The winds of wisdom arise from the power of celestial worthies to sweep clean the realm of our minds, leaving no dust. With true devotion, the spiritual radiance constantly supports us. Confirming our vows each day, it watches over our human minds. Each day watching over our minds and finding confirmation, it is certain that our mundane bodies will attain the body of the Tao. At that time, Yuan Shu Tianzun was resting in the seven treasures grove in the center of the inner palace of the five illuminations. Boundless, the saint is completely liberated. Boundless, he is radiant, luminous, and aware. Boundless, he observes the boundaries of this world. Boundless, he sees all living beings suffer, distressed and entangled over and over by the mundane world cycling through life and death, swept up in the swift, turbulent river of lust, languishing in the sea of desire, and trapped, ensnared by sensual pleasure. Of existence and non-existence, non-existence of emptiness, existence of emptiness, non-existence of form, existence of form, non-existence of non-existence, existence of non-existence, existence of existence, and non-existence of existence. From start to finish, they remain dim, unable to enlighten, lost and bewildered to the end. So the celestial worthy encouraged all sentient beings to follow these principles. come to understand these fundamental ideas. Non-existence is within existence. Non-non-existence is within non-existence. Formlessness is within form. Non-emptiness is within emptiness. Neither does, em neither does existence cause existence, nor does non-existence cause non-existence. Neither does form cause form, nor does emptiness cause emptiness. Emptiness is precisely emptiness, but emptiness is not only emptiness. Form is precisely form, but form is not only form. Form is actually empty. Emptiness is actually form. If you can understand that emptiness is not empty and form is not form, then you too will be called radiant. And the wondrous music will announce the completion of your earthly journey. Recognizing non-existence and emptiness, you have penetrated the teachings. Seeing without obstruction through the great, through the gate of the miraculous multitude, you understand things as they are, free from all doubts. Guiding principles are not needed. Watching emptiness clear and still, the roots of the six senses and all bad karma are cut off. Thus, I have explained it to you. In a way, that's all of it. I've explained everything to you. The wondrous scripture says, to protect life and ferry all sentient beings across the river, spread these teachings over the earth. Circulating and reciting them aloud, presently winged heavenly beings strike out against evil. Invulnerable and unyielding, they protect the teachings until the numinous boy relieves suffering and the realized ones 
with immutable essence, tame the fierce and wild beasts. Everyone who follows this scripture is thereby embraced and protected. Adversity is held off. The weak are held up. Literally, they have something to hold, to hold them up, to lean on. All sentient beings are delivered to perpetual liberation. At that time, the celestial worthy recited this explanatory verse. Looking, not seeing. Listening, not hearing. We leave behind all types of boundaries. This is called the wondrous Tao, the boundaries of naming, conceptual understanding. The phrases looking without seeing and listening without hearing are the same as in uh, the other times that we encounter them, for example, in the golden light incantation. The structure of that stanza in the golden light uh, is supported by seeing the aspect of these lines that is looking without seeing and listening without hearing, but is the same Chinese characters as here, where the emphasis is on not seeing, not hearing, not naming. The scripture, the true scripture, authentic scripture, of warding off adversity and transcending hardship. At that time, the celestial worthy was receiving homage from the people at the ceremony to harmonize heaven and earth in the land. Every single true immortal of the great Tao in the manifold human realms, including the celestial worthies, were present. The heavenly dragon, the imperial guard in a sense, and all the ghosts and spirits have gathered to make offerings alongside virtuous men and women. For years they had roamed the earth, all of the men and women and ghosts and spirits, suffering time after time, distressed by restless, anxious hearts and inescapable, and the inescapable net of existence, distressed by lives of poverty, exhaustion, and chronic illness, distressed by great degenerate waves of corruption, cruelty, cunning, and ruthlessness, distressed by great conflict like mugging, robbery, and war, and giving birth, distressed by seclusion in mountain groves, far from established altars to soil and grain, distressed by inclusion in community, building bridges of stone and beams, that is, whichever choice you make to seclude yourself or to include yourself in community. There's the stress of the labor of supporting that community or there's the stress of the lack of communal support, far from altars to soil and grain, which is a synecdoche for the state, the protection of the state. Distressed by medicine that is toxic and incantations that curse, On this day, thoughtful and sincere, before the Jade Emperor, Celestial Worthies, and the realized sages of the Great Tao, they confessed their misdeeds, requested forgiveness, and prayed for the liberation, for liberation and transcendence, committing to, a mo to moral conduct at the deepest level, the innermost layers, from center, literally. Adversities and hardships then dissolved one after another, and new obstacles were, pre were prevented. So this is the, this is what, this is the action of this entire scripture. Confessed their misdeeds, requested forgiveness, prayed for liberation and transcendence, and committed to moral conduct at the deepest level, and adversities and hardships then dissolved one after another, and new obstacles were prevented. By imperial decree, the great celestial spirits descend together, empowered by saints, empowered by Tao, empowered by the transmission of this scripture, empowered by kindness, 
to protect and watch over the followers who receive this teaching and sustain their faith through recitation of this scripture. Henceforth, may they be liberated from all the yang and yin adversities, the three diminishments, the eight obstacles, the nine offenses, and the five sufferings. These have specific means, of course, but uh, you can hear the idea is that all of the possible adversities. In accord with these requests and promises, put this teaching into practice steadily and without deviation. Leave behind the vicissitudes, the up and down, the this way and that way, the push and pull of life, and enter the path. We say go forth, which is the leave behind aspect, and enter into. Put behind you the seeking for profit and accumulation and set your heart on your vows. Thereupon all the people hearing the teachings in this scripture are filled with joy and faith. They accept and follow the teachings in this scripture. The Jade Emperor's Mind Seal Scripture, Wondrous Scripture. This, I think, is your first time hearing this. This is uh, an alchemical method oriented scripture. The highest medicine has three degrees Shen, Qi, and Jing. Three tastes, three qualities, but it has an aspect of gradation. similar to the way I've structured the teaching of following back the continuum, materiality to immateriality, coarse to fine, to subtle, to secret, to immaterial. Their appearances are faint, indistinct, and dark. So this is that spectrum. Slightly visible, indistinct, vague, and dark, hard to see. And those qualities uh, are specifically associated with Shen, Qi, Jing. Concentrate on non-existence. Watch over existence. This is the primary instruction. Concentrate on non-existence. Watch over existence. When time is emptied out, the process is accomplished. Achieving timelessness. The winds return to primordial harmony. The winds are the vicissitudes, the pulling, the pushing and pulling of life. One hundred days of numinous merit, paying silent homage to Shang Di, highest deity. In this lifetime, you will ascend to heaven. Those who understand this will transform and awaken. Those who do not walk an impossible path. Sustain the practice in heavenly radiance, each breath nourishing clarity. Go forth in mystery in accord with the valley. The mystery is the formless, the valley is the form. As if absent, as if present. Formless, form. Concentrating on non-existence, watching existence. (coughs) Continuously, never cutting off the firm stem and the deep roots of the fruit, fruition, realization. Every person has Jing. Jing joins with Shen. Shen joins with Qi. Jing essence, Shen spirit. Qi energy and vitality. Qi joins with the true body, the body of reality. This reality is not attained. It is there for all who are determined. 
Shen is able to enter stone. Shen is able to take flight, to submerge in water without drowning, to immerse in fire without burning. When Shen is intimate with the body, the word is like cozy, it's, it's uh, held within, together with, it lives. When Shen is intimate, intimate with the body, it's the body that lives. When Jing is intimate with Qi, it is abundant. Not withering, not decaying. It is evergreen, like the pine and cypress. The three qualities have one underlying structure, wondrous and silent. Gathering, it is existence. When it gathers, it is the density of existence. Again, we're on this spectrum. Dispersing, it is absence. When it infuses the seven apertures, two nostrils, two ears, mouth, two eyes, each aperture is radiant and luminous. The sacred sun and the sacred moon the sun is the left eye, the moon is the right eye. Illuminate the golden courtyard with dazzling rays of light. Attaining the one, attaining eternity. In Tsuran, naturalness, spontaneous arising. Body and life are carefree. In great harmony, they are exuberant and abundant. And from the bones of our being radiates a cool elegance. If the elixir, literally the, the cinnabar, which is the ultimate reality, don't uh, distinguish, don't think of separately the golden elixir, the uh, that we speak of in alchem alchemy as distinct from uh, jun reality realization. If the elixir is attained, then one is numinous, uh, becomes the spiritual light also has an aspect of uh, the soul that survives the body. If it is not attained, then one dies. The elixir resides in the center, also within, jong, center, within, middle, harmony. Neither white nor green, White being west, green being east. Not pulled or pushing in either direction. Greed, anger, but rather center and centeredness. Hold and recite the scripture 10,000 times and the wondrous pattern will reveal itself. There's some flow to iron out there, but Hope some of that is getting through. Concentrate on non existence, non being, silence, emptiness. And from there, hold, watch over that bright bright meaning aware that space holds this tangible material reality.
poem that my grandfather used to recite to me is the initial couplet is coming up and feels in an alignment with our orientations here. I must go down to the seas today, to the lonely seas and sky, and all I ask is a tall ship and a star to steer her by. Star, of course, in this context is both stars by which we navigate in the heavens above, but also the stars, the name and the shape of the wheel that controls the rudder on a ship. It is the form and hand, it is the light in mind. is the crossing that is accomplished. And on this journey, we are each alone and together. not to disturb our stability. In spite of some potential for physical discomfort, we'll stay seated and move into Tugu Mashin. Triple burner, the physicality of the organs and fluids in the center, or less materially center itself, golden light, the hand seal. It's the open hand, the exhale sound is she. Inhale this golden light through the pores of the skin, through the lungs. Hold. Remember the open hold as if you're continuing to inhale the lungs full.
silent she to exhale, dispersing the turbid. Return, repeat, becoming bright, inhale. Exhale, silent she. Return. Repeat. Exhale, silent she. Facing east, a new cycle begins. Dawn, spring, green dragon, Jia Yi wood. Liver and gallbladder. Inhale this bright, alive, green. Thumb over ring finger, hold. Silent shoe, exhale. Repeat. Always through the taking in through the pores of the skin and through the lungs. Dong Fong Jia Yi Mu Ching Si Ru Gang Dan
Then into Shu. On the release, you are straightening your elbow completely and kind of reaching out from center in both directions. You'll get a little more emptiness and support from the physical openness and release there. Repeat, inhaling, green facing east, dawn, spring, new life energy. Silent shoe. Facing south. Bing, ding, yang, and yin, fire. Vermilion bird, red phoenix. Noon, heart, and small intestine. Bright, alive, red. Inhale. Thumb over middle finger. Silent who? Closing the back of the throat gently. Repeat. Inhale, bright, alive, red. Non fong, bing ding, huo, hong su, wu xin. Xiao Chong. Silent Hu. Repeat, bright, alive, red, south, fire.
sound hu. Center. Earth. Yellow. Yellow phoenix. Or yellow dragon is good too. Wu Ji, Yang, and Yin, Earth. Spleen and stomach. In the center of existence, in the center of earth. Inhale. Middle finger holding thumb. Repeat, inhale, Jong Yong Wu Ji Tu Huang Su Ru Pi Wei. Again, yellow, earth, center, Uji. Facing west, white tiger, white metal, gong, sheen, yang and yin, heavenly stem, lung and large intestine, the mudras with the index. Inhale this bright, alive white a crisp autumn morning.
Exhale with Su. Again, west, white, metal, autumn. Again. <clears throat> Sí. Facing north. Schwinn color, black. Deep, deep, deep blue. Shwen Wu, turtle snake, kidney bladder, run gui, thumb of a pinky, chui, inhale. Repeat. Bei Fong Run Gui Shui. Hey, Su, Ru Shen Guang. Three. Again.
Chuy. The world mudra. All the merit we've accumulated, all the moments of clarity, stillness we've gathered.
dedicate the realization of all sentient beings. Thank you. So as per usual, we'll break for a moment and return for tea and discussion.